Hi everyone, here's another example of dimensional analysis. Hopefully you're getting the hang of it. In this problem, they want us to convert 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second into a unit that's very familiar to us, miles per hour. So I might begin by saying 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters for every one second. And when I look at this, I've got to convert meters into miles and seconds into hours. You can start with converting meters into miles, or you can start with converting seconds into hours. I think I might want to try going from meters into miles first. Again, it's kind of tricky because we have metric into English units. We need our conversion sheet. So this is what we need to look at. Do you see a way to go directly from meters into miles? I don't. I do, however, see this relationship, a way to get from kilometers into miles. So I think our best bet might be to go from meters into kilometers and then go from kilometers into miles using this relationship here. So we're going to go from meters to kilometers, and then we're going to go from kilometers into miles using the conversion factor on the previous page. But let me deal with this. One kilometer contains a thousand meters. Kilo means a thousand. And then the conversion that you saw on the previous page was one kilometer contains 0 0.62137 miles. So kilometers cancel, and we've gotten the desired unit upstairs. Now we just have to get rid of seconds. And this is just something you probably know. 60 seconds are in one minute. So seconds cancel. And then you could say 60 minutes are in one hour. And minutes cancel. And we've gotten the desired unit downstairs. Let's do a quick check of the sig figs. We have two sig figs here. This is exact. It won't impact your sig figs. We've got five sig figs here. These two are exact. They won't limit your sig figs. They're true by definition. So it looks like our final answer better have two sig figs. When I did the arithmetic, I got quite a large number. I got 6.7 times 10 to the 8th miles per hour. Miles per hour. So I like the sig figs that we have, two sig figs. I like that we included units in our answer. And it makes sense that we got quite a large number. This value happens to be the speed of light. So I would expect it to be large. That's all for this video. Thanks for listening. And good luck as you work on dimensional analysis problems.